Hey, welcome to the Sente unboxing video. I'm going to start by showing you the end result uh, where I hung the unit in my home. It's actually in my office. I'll take you there right now. You know, there are a lot of ways you can order and configure the Sente. Uh, it can be purchased for commercial use with uh, a coin accepting unit and a bill scanner and some other features that you might want if you have a restaurant or a bar or barbershop or something you want to hang it on your wall there but I'm just a, a hobbyist uh, an avid end user and um, here's where I put it in my office and here's where I hung the controllers on the wall and um, let me show you how I got there here's what I received from Polycade it's two boxes the largest uh, weighs 160 pounds and contains the Sente unit uh, it's made of steel, brushed steel, uh, which you'll see in a moment is when I open the box. Um, Polycade uh, initiated a Kickstarter in November of 2023, and I was one of the early uh, supporters, and uh, I think that's part of why I'm one of the first ones to receive this particular unit. Uh, I ordered the basic configuration in terms of color. Um, they offer uh, some... Uh, very nice extras that I took a pass on including like a digital marquee and um, Some other things you can see on their website um, Here you can see when the box is opened uh, everything was well protected uh, This box which is uh, labeled accessories um, Contained a little bit of a surprise you'll you'll see in a moment You know, this is, when you fund a Kickstarter, this is half of what I expected to receive. Um, but I think this box was just in here as a spacer to keep things in place during shipment. Everything arrived undamaged. Uh, it was packaged, um, uh, I think, quite nicely. Um, there's some, like, uh, accessories down there in a smaller box at the bottom. In general, everything I received uh, is very high production quality. Um, the assembly, uh, the configuration, I'm very happy um, with uh, what I found on arrival. Uh, this is a smaller box of like, uh, like a variety of components and it includes the, the PC uh, that you can um, purchase as an option. Um, you know, most of what I want to use the Sente for is uh, retro video game emulation. It doesn't require a GPU typically, although now that I see how versatile the system can be, I find myself shopping for small PCs with a GPU. I may upgrade in the future, but later on in this video, I'll, I'll show you the specs on this particular PC. Uh, you can see that the, uh, the accessories include uh, a bunch of vinyl stickers, magnets. Uh, there's some uh, inserts you can add to the joysticks to restrict motion from eight-way joysticks to four-way. Um, and some of this stuff is, is really pretty fun. It looks to me like somebody maybe uh, likes the old Macintosh back at the company. And uh, there's also a mouse and a keyboard in there and a manual. The manual in general is very uh, thoughtfully made and um, takes into account the idea that, you know, this is a, a very early release and things are going to change. The manual has several QR codes that link to updated instructions and suggestions. Um, and I'll just sort of flip through here. I thought this was cute. If you have small children, keep them occupied while you move through this setup procedure. They are smart. <laughs> In terms of mounting the Sente, uh, there are a couple options. Uh, one is using a metal bracket that comes with the unit or you can purchase separately a stand if you want to have the ability to move the Sente around. You know, I found that the manual instructions and the online pointers were uh, more than adequate to help me get the job done well. And I'll show you some images of um, how I hung the bracket a little uh, later on. Um, here's the keyboard that they included. I think it's kind of fun, uh, a little playful, um, lights up. It's a good size and it fits in the drawer that is contained within the Sente uh, and it can be pulled out on rails and then stowed away when you don't want to use it. This is the PC that's included. 
you know, it's also very cute. It's almost a shame to hide this away. Um, and it's more than adequate for getting the job done in terms of retro gaming and running the operating system. Uh, I'll post uh, some stats on, you know, what's inside this case. Uh, but it includes, you know, all the uh, USB and display out and audio out that uh, you would need. And has some nice mounting screws on the back as well. Um, that's how you attach it to the case. I'll show you a picture of that in a moment too. Uh, and that blue thing in my right hand is a power button that you affix to the bottom right corner of the unit for turning it off and on. Uh, this box contained other boxes um, in which were uh, the controllers that I ordered. And, uh, you know, there are a bunch of options for this too that you can see online. Uh, different configurations of buttons and joysticks, uh, trackballs, uh, flight sticks and spinners, um, and a few other things. You know, I thought that this was a little bit jumbled in the box, but, you know, the controllers are, again, made of steel. Uh, they were very well protected, and the fact that they moved around a little bit in this box didn't seem to make a difference. Everything came out undamaged. In order to access the mounting bracket for the Sente, I had to close the front of the box and then flip it over and then open the back. So you can see I've done that here. And this is a view into essentially, uh, you can see the back of the monitor and um, the back of the base of the unit uh, with the bracket. And uh, you might notice a white plastic diffuser around the edge that protects um, RGB LED strips. Um, you can uh, change the kind of color and pattern of uh, the LED lights Here's the bracket uh, sliding off the mount. And then here you can see I found a suitable place on the wall where uh, two studs were located in a satisfactory position where I could sink four screws and mount the bracket. And then lifting the sente onto the wall required uh, the help of a friend. And here it is on the wall. And uh, this shows the PC having been installed and uh, some of the cable management in the back. And then down here on the right is where the power cord exits. But once the unit is mounted to the wall, there's the power button. Uh, it's very flush to the wall. And I could not get this cord through the hole. And so I had to lift it off the wall and pass the cord through, uh, which was not such a big problem. But once I'd gotten this far, it was a little heartbreaking. And there it is on the wall with the initial uh, boot up screen uh, that gets you to the Wi-Fi configuration. Of course, the PC has an Ethernet port as well if you want to wire it. There were some other default uh, screens that were interesting, including this QA screen. Babe, will you wave to the Internet for me? And uh, controller selection uh, was a brief bit of a puzzle. I selected Xbox controller. My understanding is that uh, all the controllers are recognized as Xbox controllers. Um, and then here you can see the inside of the cabinet. Um, and then here's the inside of the cabinet after I've installed uh, the shelves that are an option that I paid for. And I think the shelves are actually a little more useful than uh, I originally suspected. You can keep some stuff there, including some cables or... Um, a few other handy things that are nice to keep close to the sente, but then tucked away behind the closed door. For what it's worth, I think there's room in here for a slightly larger PC with a graphics card, and I may be headed in that direction. You can install an application on your cell phone if you want, and control the LED strips that are on the back of the sente. This was fun to play with. Um, it includes, you know, static colors, but also a bunch of animated, like, uh, color cycling options. I suppose if you had a commercial install you might want to um, have it uh, in this sort of attract mode. For now I kind of like this soft orange glow.
now let's watch the Sente play some games. You'll see the system is very responsive. There's no lag and it supports a wide range of emulators. Uh, anything, uh, any core that's available through RetroArch um, and MAME. It also uh, supports Steam. Uh, in fact, the Steam integration is, is really excellent. I'll try to show you that a little later. Like now, this is Dragon's Lair. Uh, if you've ever tried to emulate Dragon's Lair on a PC, you'll know that historically it's uh, been a little finicky, um, in part because the game uh, made use of laser discs. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. And this is what the installation looked like after I finished cleaning up. I think it came out pretty nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I'm launching Omega Race and in part to show you an example of what happens when a game's controllers are not completely mapped in MAME. You can press tab on the keyboard and open up the MAME interface and then depending on what controllers you have attached you can map them to the controllers for that particular game. Once you do it, uh, this is saved. The next time the game runs you don't have to do it again. But now you can see I can play Omega Race, and for those of you who are fans of Omega Race, you may recall that this game actually plays with a spinner, not an eight-way joystick. I'm impressed that MAME lets me map the joystick in such a manner that I can still play the game in a way that's really fun and not so far from the original. Uh, you can purchase a, a spinner controller um, and I've actually done that, but I didn't receive that controller with this shipment, and I'm told it'll come in about four weeks.
This next game has an easter egg that I'm particularly fond of. Um, while the game is playing, I'll show you some of the specs on the PC. So, <clears throat> in closing, Polycade got a lot of things right with this Kickstarter. You know, it's still a very new product. They've shipped 50 units with, you know, several hundred more on their way to the States. And, you know, I've been really happy with the choices they've made as they've rolled the product out. Uh, I expect it'll continue to evolve in small ways and uh, get even better. Um, you know, I, I kept track of like a list of things that uh, I thought might be challenges or that were annoying. Um, you know, there's some issues with how Windows handles USB controllers and numbers them when you change devices, um, you know, often requiring a restart. Uh, the controllers don't have a visual indicator as to which number the operating system thinks that particular controller is. Um, you know, I didn't get delivery of my spinner and flight stick, and um, the wall mount uh, controller holder only holds two controllers, and the picture that they originally had showed for. You know, all these things don't matter, because what the Sente does, it does very well. It plays a tremendously wide range of games on Steam, um, many different emulators, and... Uh, they released it with an open architecture, so you can add your own ROMs too. And it has a very active Discord, and uh, the online presence has been responsive, and uh, the people who participate there I've found you know, well-informed and fun and engaging. And in general, um, you know, this has been a real treat for me. So I hope you like getting this uh, early look at the Sente, and um, feel free to comment. You know, I've been on YouTube for, I think, more than a decade. I'm up to like two dozen subscribers now. I've never asked anyone to subscribe. Uh, you don't have to start now. But if you want to comment, I'd be happy to participate in some kind of discussion about this. And uh, happy gaming.